For thousands of years, this fertile land was home to American Indians. They were drawn to the area by the abundance of food and resources in the River Valley. When Europeans arrived in the 17th century, they gradually displaced the Lenape, known today as the Delaware tribe. Local landowners built prosperous, highly cultivated farms, using the rich soils to provide goods for sale in Philadelphia. Along Valley Creek, an ironworks was established, named Valley Forge. The first Continental soldiers marching into Valley Forge entered a landscape of quiet farm fields, pastures, and woodlands. But with the arrival of Washington's army, farmers and residents soon found themselves on the front lines of a global war. Their lives were upended and their land ravaged by the sudden presence of nearly 12,000 soldiers and camp followers. Fields were trampled and polluted with hundreds of tons of human and animal waste. Hillsides in all directions were clear cut to provide firewood for heating and cooking, as well as timber for constructing huts. Soldiers purchased food supplies, but in other cases, supplies and livestock were confiscated or stolen. Having suffered at the hands of both Continental and British forces, local residents maintained divided loyalties. Some farmers continued to sell goods to the British. They could trust the value of the British pound versus the potentially worthless Continental script. When the encampment ended, landowners attempted to rebuild their lives and restore their livelihoods. Yet it would take years for the land to recover. General Washington returned to Valley Forge 10 years later in 1787. He was pleased to see that the former encampment was now almost invisible and the land restored to agriculture. Over the next century, peace returned to the land, the labors of soldiers replaced by agriculture and industry. It would take many years before the nation would seek to preserve its past at Valley Forge.